Hey Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising of Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot to do a quick read for you all. Um, I've done what Cancer through Pisces now, um, and I may be doing something on Monday, possibly. Um, maybe something for the singles. I don't know. Um, this is for folks who have somebody on their mind, a specific person. All right. So what is the situation um, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising of Venus, folks? What's going on? What is the situation? Um, the lovers, all right. Maybe a soulmate, very committed partner relationship type thing. Um, the Queen of Wands. I'm using the Wizard's Tarot, by the way, in case I didn't say. Um, Queen of Wands, someone with a lot of passion. Wow, two queens in here, starting off. But the lovers, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So the, the passionate one and the stable one, all right. The High Priestess, another female. And whether you're male or female, um, this is feminine energy. So it could even be a man who exudes feminine energy. Um, you could be a man who exudes feminine energy. I don't know. But there's, without being cheeky, um, there's a lot of queens in here. So the chariot card, that's a cancer card. So we have um, Gemini, um, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, Cancer. All right, so what is going on? Trying to move forward. Ha okay, so this is the pa queen of passion, and then this is um, not letting your, you know, knowing what you know and having having the secrets, knowing what's going on, and not letting people know what you're up to. Just kind of moving in silence. Um, and the chariot card is moving forward, moving on, maintaining control. Those are the things. Okay, so. The lover's card. Who is this lover? Who are we talking about? Three of cups. Okay, so I, I see lots of suggestions that there's more than one person in this relationship. Or more than two, I mean. God, I hope there's more than one. <laughs> You're in a relationship with yourself. <laughs> um, so it looks like there's, I mean, it looks like there's three or more people involved in this. Or maybe a lot of people. I don't freaking know, man. Because the three of cups is, you get the lover's card clarified by the three of cups. Are you reconciling with a lover? But is it somebody who, who deals with a lot of people? There's a lot of people involved in this. I'm not saying that there's cheating, but there's a lot of people involved in this. Um, and there's a rainbow in the Queen of Pentacles one. So, And there's a rainbow in this. So um, that's the strength card. So try to be strong and hold back from reuniting with somebody because there's too many people involved. Um, Queen of Wands. That's Queen of Passion. This is clarified by the Ace of Wands. New start, new passionate start, queen of, that's it, I, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Look, queen of cups, look at all these queens. Too many women in here. I, I don't know, if if you are a woman and your partner's a woman, there's still a lot of women here. If you're a man and your partner's a man, there's a lot of feminine energy in here, a lot of queens. <laughs> um, whether you are male or female, if your partner is the opposite gender, regardless, a lot of feminine energy is, is, there's a lot of women in here. Jesus. And you start with the Queen of Cups. Now, um, I always see the Queen of Cups as self-love and nurturing yourself. So what is this Queen of Pentacles? That's the Queen of Stability, being um, someone, you possibly, um, it could represent you being done, feeling betrayed by somebody, just being done, done. Um, yeah, the Death card. Jesus, the Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Death card. Just wanting to be done with somebody, maybe because they are the Ace of Wands all the time, always starting something new with somebody else, because look at this. Three of Cups, I mean, God bless America. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is clarifying the High Priestess. You know, you know you're know, you moving in silence, you're not letting people know what you're up to, but you know what you know. Um, Knight of Pentacles is just moving forward slowly and steadily and doing things the right way you're gonna get there um, and you're not gonna you're not gonna rush through things you're not gonna shortcut things and you're gonna you're gonna do it right but and you're gonna you're gonna take your time you're gonna get there it might take a minute but you're gonna get there so if this is a left thing and you're not dealing with this person 
love will, you're willing to wait for a lover that even if they take a little while to get to you, they come to you correctly. Um, page of Cups, that's an offer of love. Oh, um, I already went over some of the signs. Three of Cups is Cancer, Ace of Wands is uh, Aries Leo Sag, Ten of Swords is Gemini, Knight of Pentacles is, is Virgo, Strength Cards is Leo, Queen of Cups is Cancer, Death Card is Scorpio, Page of Cups is Aries, or, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So the Chariot card, moving on or moving forward with someone or something and trying to be strong and have control. A Hermit, that's another Virgo card. Um, and the Ace of Cups, and you have two Aces. So two Tens and two Aces. Endings and beginnings. Um, a new passionate start in love, it looks like. Uh, because Eight of Swords being prisoner of your own mind. Maybe you're tired of being prisoner of your own mind. So um, let's get a little more clarification and then we're going to do six cards down as destiny and then um, I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> All right, so we have manifestation. Manifest what you want. I hear you, Joey. Uh, we are in a second. Reconciliation. Okay. Three of cups. Okay. Reconciliation. Three of cups and reconciliation is kind of the same thing. Um, I know, honey. I know. Mommy knows. Snacks. We want snacks. Lots of snacks. Um, so, manifesting a new beginning, reconciling with somebody from the past, it looks like. Uh, Gaia's Garden. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. So that's kind of like a card of karma. The Word Lord. This card keeps coming out in this position on the bottom. Uh, communication, praise, and dishonesty. So communication about some dishonesty. I know, Joey. Jesus. Oh, my God. Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for listening. All right, so what do we have from Moonology? We have your commitment is being tested. I'm sure it is. Um, step out of your comfort zone. you got to have a conversation with somebody. Um, and then we have six cards, Donna's Destiny, and I will close this out. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And ooh, we didn't even have to do it. Okay, they can't be trusted. Romance them. Wedding bells. Lots of money coming. Get a grip. Apply for the job. Um, at the bottom we have, they are not letting you go. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, why? I don't know. All right. Romance them, wedding bells, even though why they can't be trusted. You gotta, you gotta have a conversation with this person. <laughs> All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next read. All right, bye. Okay, snacks.